Hey loves, this is your girl Jay from Jay Young Healing and this is going to be a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the month of March 2020. Keep in mind this is not going to resonate with every Leo out there, okay? Take the parts that do resonate and apply it to your love life, career, relationships, however it fits for you. If this doesn't resonate with you, you may want to check your Moon, Rising and your Venus sign, okay? Alrighty. Let's get the overall energy for you, Leo. Overall energy for Leo for the month of March. Reward yourself, okay, is your overall energy for this month. And as I was meditating before I popped on, um, <laughs> one word that popped out, Leo, savage. March, you're going to be a savage. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know what that means for you, but that that word came up and I was just like, okay, I'll let the Leos out there know you guys are savage this month. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully that's in a good way. All right. So this card says reward yourself. Um, you've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level, okay? So this is going to be a month about tapping into your heart space. I'm also feeling like it's going to be about relationships as well and um, really connecting with your inner child. Let's pull some tarot on this. Why is the reward yourself card here for Leo and what's the overall energy? Okay, so I have the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, your energy, Sagittarius or, Le um, Sagittarius or Aries. And then we have Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energy on the board. And the center of that is your energy, Leo, where I feel like some of you are waiting for something. And I feel like this might be um, around family. This may involve family coming out of some decision-making process or and some of you are or have made a decision for your family. I don't know why I'm picking up travel too. Um, this could be travel, thinking about a vacation or, or relocating to a new place. Could This could be for work, but your focus is um, family right now. So, you know, rewarding yourself. Maybe uh, for some of you, this could come in the form of um, getting the house of your dreams. Maybe some of you are, you know, contemplating purchasing a home right now and you just want to splurge because you've worked so hard and it's like, why the hell not? Can I just buy whatever I want to buy? So that could be um, on a, an option for you. I do feel like whatever you're wait, whatever you've been waiting for, you're now you've made a clear decision about what you want to do. And with the two of swords here, and you're going to move forward with that energy. Let me just pull one more card from the top of the deck, page of pentacles. So there's definitely a new beginning that's occurring for you. Could be, you know, like an offer on the table, but you're at the beginning stages of something. So for some of you, if this is investing in some sort of, this could be investing in something. Maybe you're thinking about investing in a new business venture, um, building a partnership with somebody, uh, receiving, working with someone at, you know, an investor, or maybe some of you are working with a bank um, to get a loan for, you know, for your dream home. I do feel like you guys are in the beginning stages with this two of swords, that two of swords in reverse here. I feel like you have finally decided, like you're not so much in your head anymore about whatever this is, that you've made a firm decision and you're going to move forward with it, with the page of, with the page of um, pinnacles here, that you're just going to you're going to do what you have to do, okay? Um, so I feel like, again, this is an energy of you. You're going to, like, nurture yourself in a way, and you're just going to take the offer and take the leap of faith and actually do it. So this could be, you know, a phase that some of you are in right now. This could have been your most recent past, or this these could be energies that are coming up for you. So overall energy is, you know, what you're feeling right now is rewarding yourself, working on the heart space and really just allowing your desires to come to fruition. Because, excuse me, this is all about uh, material gain, tangible gain with this 10 of, with the 10 of pentacles and the page of pentacles here. Look how the 10 moves into the page. So this is forward momentum for you, Leo, when it comes to rewarding yourself. 
there is a new beginning and you're smack dead in it, okay? All right, let's, let it, I'm sorry, let me adjust this. All right, let's get some advice for you, Leo. What's the advice for Leo for March 2020? Advice for Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, God. Both of these wanted to come out. Well, I guess Spirit wants you to hear both of these messages. <laughs> This could be part of why you're savage this month. Okay, so um, the, the pleasure card. The pleasure card is coming out for you as well as the physical health card. Those are two very important things to focus on this month and it's your, it's your advice to focus on. So the pleasure card is about enjoyment, beauty, sensuality, indulgence. And the physical health card is about vitality, strength, body image, and balance. And I really feel like um, these are connecting to um, the earthly chakras, okay, your first your first and your second chakra, the root and the sacral. Um, there's an energy of um, integrating the two to find balance. So for some of you, physical health, the, the body image, maybe this could just mean like, you know, you know, working out or rewarding yourself, tapping into the energy, the inner child that resides within you working on your heart space is going to allow you to feel more at home in your body um make you feel more vulnerable um i mean not make you feel more vulnerable but um i just lost my train of thought on that but i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the the next word which is vitality so um focusing on that getting your energy up for some of you but i feel like this physical health energy is Kind of like I feel like it's also a sexual energy too. That's kind of what I'm getting from the card as I'm looking at this, and it's like <laughs> it reminds me of the red light. We all know the red light district, but um, the red light district and you know nude women. So I do feel like this. There's an energy of allowing yourself to expose yourself and to be free and to feel confident and comfortable in your body and to enjoy that. That you're beautiful. Whatever you look like, whatever shape you are, whatever size you are, knowing that um, you you deserve love, you deserve the compliments, you deserve um, to have whatever it is that you desire, and you shouldn't allow your image to play a role in um, your confidence, I guess, if that makes sense, so to speak. Um, so I'm kind of feeling that energy. There's a balance between you trying to balance your being in this earth and what you're feeling in your body, in your and what your and how your body is connected to your spiritual self. So it's really about a balance um, this month for you. Let's pull some tarot so we can get a little bit clearer on that. What messages do we have for Leo in regards to these cards? The pleasure and physical health card. I'm also feeling too with that physical health card is like not letting, uh, not allowing people to take advantage um, of you that, you know, no means no. And you don't have to feel obligated to do things that you are, you don't want to do or you feel uncomfortable doing. You're finding your strength and your power. You're stepping into your power and you're setting boundaries um, as well. Okay. So I have the temperance, the nine and nine of wands in reverse and the chariot in reverse. So I do feel like you guys are definitely stepping into an energy of healing this month. Um, finding purpose again balance is 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 so key because the temperance card is the temperance card is here and that's definitely all about balance some of you could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius you could be dealing with uh, another Leo or an Aries or possibly a cancer um, and then having the the chariot here in reverse it's about you finding the self-discipline 
okay? The self-discipline to really take care of yourself, to really reward yourself this month because it's definitely going to be key for you. Um, some of you could be feeling like a loss of will or a loss or a lack of direction, a lack of discipline um, as well. And then with with the the nine of the nine of wands in reverse, this energy is about you feeling defensive and being on edge and paranoid. Some of you could also be feeling very fatigued or unsure about um, unsure about things. And this is probably why this pleasure and physical health card plays a huge role and your advice because it's really stepping into these energies um, and really finding balance. I can't say that enough because that's what keeps screaming out at me is balance is going to be key for you. It's going to be beneficial for you. It's going to be beneficial in, in helping you heal yourself, your mind, body, and spirit, keeping you aligned, keeping you intact enjoying the rewards that are coming to you because again things are unfolding for you as we covered in your overall energy okay so let's see what else is um i'm also picking up an energy of um spirit is saying you know stop stop putting yourself down and maybe this pertains to some of you when it comes to the body image but you're really needing to step into an energy of like just enjoying life. What are you feeling? What do you want? What do you desire? How do you want to feel? Um, what do you what do you see yourself as? Who do you see yourself as? Like asking yourself these questions this month is really going to help you. Um, is really going to help you heal because that's it's it's that's what it's about this month. More I mean this morning, this month is balancing healing and rewarding yourself and that all comes with you tuning in to um your spiritual self your conscious self let me pull one more card the ace of cups definitely new energy coming in this could be a new relationship this can be new love and i feel like you know if this came out in reverse this would be about self-love but i do still feel like this is an energy of self-love this month you stepping into that energy you letting go of what what you thought was or letting go of old patterns and negativity and allowing yourself to really step into your purpose and your truth and um you know getting the rest you need um closing out whatever cycles you need to close out um, on a mental level on a level from just on a mental on a mental and spiritual level just Closing that out um, and stepping into this overwhelming love for self with this Ace of Cups here, okay? So I feel like this reading is very general right now <laughs> because I feel like it's just really focused on balance and, and you finding beauty and vitality. So you're, you know, finding the energy and what it makes sense because the vitality card and then the nine of the nine of wands here saying this is an energy of you being exhausted, but you're trying to find that it's almost like some of you are trying to find yourself. Now you're like just in a new phase. And some of you are probably really trying to reward yourself now because you maybe you've just been through the ringer and things are um, needing a, a shift right now in your life and so there's a lot of things that you're integrating and a lot of things that you're trying to implement into your life and it may feel uncomfortable as you're doing it but I mean this month it's all about the balance because I'm just looking at the two women in the car they're facing each other you know that's like the physical body and the spiritual body right and then we have the temperance card which is all about the balance and then we have the chariot in reverse which is all about the balance, you know, look at the trying to balance the yin and the yang, um, the masculine and the feminine energy here. And then you have the ace of cups, how it looks like um, it's the waters are almost even on, on both sides, but it's almost like you're walking through a new, like walking through a new entryway of emotion. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of exploration on the table for you this month, Leo. I don't know exactly, again, how this pertains to you when it comes to you being savage, but um, 
That's just what I heard. You can use that however you want to use that. Let's move into the outcome for you. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for the month of March for Leo? The outcome. Prosperity lies ahead. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Prosperity, uh, prosperity lies ahead is the outcome. So this is this energy is coming towards you. You're going to be prosperous. It's on the way. Um, if some of you are, you know, have been worried about that, I have the three of pentacles, the queen of cups, the seven of pentacles, and the four of um, the four of swords. So pretty much, uh, well, all the zodi, zodi, all the elements are on the board. Earth, wind, uh, earth, wind. <laughs> Earth, air, fire, and water. So you could be dealing with any sign at this point. But these are the cards that I pulled for you, that we pulled for you. And let's see. So with this prosperity lies ahead, uh, there is an opportunity for you to collaborate with someone. And again, this could pertain to you trying to get a loan for a home. Um, you may be working with an investor, maybe starting a new business with someone, collaborating, starting starting a partnership with someone. And I feel like this could be a good balance for you um, because you're learning to balance, right? Your, your advice is about balancing this month. So I do feel you get to the point where you feel an emotional stability and there are some seeds that you've planted, some things that you've been working on, and there's something that's going to be opening up for you. And it, you may, it may be something that you have to think about, kind of rest on and take your time. Definitely take your time if you need to, because you definitely have options with the seven of pinnacle, with the seven of cups here. And then <laughs> this is a lot of thinking you're going to have to do. So um, as you're going through this healing process, there's going to be a lot of reevaluating things, contemplating. Um, also, you trying to rejuvenate your energy because you come out of a phase of exhaustion right because you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to balance things in your world and that takes a lot of energy and you're healing that takes a lot of energy this this healing process is not an easy process so there's a lot of things to to evaluate there's a lot of things to reevaluate to reconnect to um but i do feel like there is something an opportunity that you will you're you're going to be a little bit of res, you're going to find a little resistance and um, accepting it, but let me look at the bottom of the deck. The strength card is like an energy of stepping into it. Just step into it without fear, okay? Because I do feel like it's something that you're going to be creating and that's going to bring prosperity to you in the coming, in this month or the coming months, okay? So that prosperity lies ahead. So if you're working with someone or there's opportunities on the table for you to collaborate with someone, or again, like I said, get that home working with there's there's a there's another party involved in this this can bring um some this can bring some re, some rewards to you but it's going to take you to be able to sit back think about this get all your ducks in a row write about this write out the pros and cons of how this is going to benefit you and in your and your family and then you can move forward because there are going to be options on the table. And I do feel like you're going to get to the point where you're going to feel like you're going to step into that with courage. Because, again, the strength card, it's the last card I pulled, is your card. So don't fear it. That's your energy. You're going to step right into it whenever you decide. But think about it. Don't just jump right in, whatever this is. But it's definitely going to bring you some prosperity, which means some financial abundance for you. Okay, Leo? Well, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have yet to do so. Hit that notification bell and I'll chat with you guys soon. Bye, Leo.